And we're starting, and it's 71 degrees. Okay, everybody got that? All right, so that's about 30 seconds. So at the plane, we're already above our temperature. Okay, we're already above our max of the gun. When we come two inches to the left, it's only 167 degrees. So right there where the flame is, it's well over about 1,000 degrees. Just to the left two inches. Now we're 221. We're on the back side of the panel. On the back side, directly behind the flame, it's 70 degrees. It has not changed degrees. Okay, I can still no problem. There's no thermal transfer. Okay, a little bit of heat coming off the flame just to bounce back, but I can still grab the board. The board's not hot. Back of the board, still 70 degrees. Okay. So you're a minute and a half in now. Again, way over our temperature range. Two inches off the left, we're still like 267, 244, 250, 270 degrees. It's kind of fluctuating because of the heat coming off the, off of the plane. Come behind the board again. It's still 70 degrees. I still have not changed my thermal properties of the foam. I can still grab the board. Even with direct flame at over 1,000 degrees. If we could do this all day. We already know this even in the, in the tunnel burn, the kiln. This carries a one hour rating by itself. This half inch board with even our max thickness of four inches of foam behind it carries a one hour rating. If we heated this to 2,000 degrees, 1,700 degrees during the one hour fire test for our loaded or uh, restrained assembly test for UL-263 or uh, E-119, we would do this for an hour. After an hour, the thermal transfer finally gets here and gets back here and it does ignite the foam after an hour. Okay, it takes about an hour and eight minutes for that thermal property to finally get back here into the foam. So we can do this all day long. Literally, we can do this literally all day. And that's all you're gonna see. Nothing is gonna happen. So the back of the board, 72.8 degrees. On the back side of the board. Thermal transfer is not happening. Still grabbing the hold of the board. No problem. That's the beauty of magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide has tremendous fire properties. It does not transfer heat. If you did this with a piece of metal, I couldn't touch it. If I did it with a piece of, 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 of urethane or a piece of aluminum or any kind of plastic or high pressure laminate, it'd be done, it'd be cooked, it'd be melting by now. Okay, not gonna do anything. Now we're four minutes in. At four minutes in, I can't see it. Two hundred thirty degrees. Again, thermal transfer. It's isolated to the point of flame, right? Again, I'm still touching, still grabbing. Back side of the board, directly behind the flame. It's increased a little bit. Now we're at eighty-seven degrees. Okay, so I'm well over a thousand degrees out here. The back side of my board, I can still touch it, grab it, do anything I want to all day long. Okay, one hour rating all by itself. No other foam board property can do that. Torch all day, but in the actual kiln of the furnace. So, it's, so here we go. 251 degrees. 250 here. It's not going to register. It's going to be over my gun limits. Again, that it maxes out at a thousand. The back side, directly behind the flame, 88 degrees. Directly behind the flame. Again, I'm grabbing the board, but now that torch is gone, I can grab it all the way up to about almost the point of where the flame was right here no problem wow okay you can't do that with anything else after five minutes at a thousand degrees i'm here and i'm still pretty hard okay five minutes at a thousand degrees still maintaining structural integrity Backside, nothing can't even tell all day long all of his properties are still there okay now All right, so 
power directly applied the flame to the foam. Okay, you see the foam is starting to turn amber, starting to turn pretty red. The foam's pretty hot, it's 550 degrees. What happens is, at a certain point, the foam will ignite. That's at about 750, 775 degrees, okay? And we're about there. So if we take the flame away, it will self-extinguish. Stops burning. Nothing there to burn. Done. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Okay, so the flame is now gone. Foam self-extinguishes itself, 155 degrees. Okay, so it's not gonna burn, right? But if we take this and we cut it open, what you'll see, all the, all the, all the foam did was char on the outside. It builds kind of a char layer on the foam, self-extinguishes itself. The foam on the inside is still good, it's still got its insulating R properties, okay? That's, that's the beauty of our foam mixture with the retardants and everything in it, is it chars. It doesn't melt like EPS or XPS. Okay, it chars and it will eventually ignite. Again, it's about 775 degrees, which takes over an hour to get to that point where it will melt. That's at 1700 degrees over an hour. That's your strain assembly test. Nobody else can do it.